Let's start scanning. In scan mode zigzag, all scan lines are scanned by walking forwards and backwards. However, the scan lines must be parallel to each other and the probe must always point in the same direction as in the first scan. Do not turn or rotate the probe during the scan. Go to the starting point in the bottom right of your scan field. Press the button to start the scan. At the end of the scan line, press the button again to lock in the length for further scan lines. For the second line are two variants. I'll show you the first one. Turn around and grab the pentasens rod with your other hand, so that the probe is still pointing in the same direction. Align the probe with the starting point. Walk back at the same speed. Turn around again, grab the rod with your other hand and take a step to the left. Align the probe again at the starting point. Walk the scan line evenly and parallel to the first two scan lines. Make sure you keep the probe straight and at the same distance above the ground. And now back again. I'll show you the first variant another time. Turn around again and realign the probe. Now I'll show you the second variant. Position your probe and walk backwards. Continue scanning at the same speed and walk parallel to the previous scan lines. When a scan is complete, press the memory card icon. Enter your field length and width and save the scan. Your scan will be open in the file explorer, where you can preview it in 2D or 3D view. You can even replay the scan or transfer it to your Windows notebook for further analysis using Visualizer 3D Studio. That's how you perform a 3D ground scan in zigzag mode with the OKM EXP 5500 Professional.